we are going to do a couple of videos of how to manipulate strings and we can look at different scenarios. The first two scenarios that we can look at is when we've got given a whole section of data that is separated by a type of characters and how do we extract that data into its own separate strings. So let's have a look at this example where we've got some sort of information about a user. Let's say Smith is the surname, the Joe is the name, and we've got their gender and their age. And if they're all separated by commas, they could be separated by anything. But in this case, they're separated by commas. And if I click on this button, I want to extract those different parts of the, of the string, like the surname, the name, and display them individually with headings like that. So that's my goal for this lesson. So let's have a look and see how we do that. To simplify the video, I've made sure that I've done the input and the output for us already. I've used S code as the variable that we're going to use to get the data from that edit box. And there's edt code.txt. And then there's a mem display memo control, which I cleared. And we are going to display these variables in there. I create the S surname, S name, S gender, and R age, which is a type of integer. Um, although I could, should, could make that a, a string, I've just left it as integers, just so that you can see if you had to extract one of those um, aspects from the string as an integer, how it would work. So we've got these different parameters over here, and I'm going to try extract them from S code and put them into these variables so that when I use my output, that this output will work because I've already displaying the surname, the name, and gender, and the age the way I want it using these variables. The only part that I have to do really is the process. I have to try extract the information from S code and put it into those variables. Now, normally when I approach these type of problems, it's very difficult to refer to the form to see what the data looks like. So a lot of the time I will go and I'll create a comment and then put the code in there so I can see what it looks like, so I can see what I need to do. So the first thing is I want to extract that surname over there. And the way I'm going to do it, the way I know where the surname ends is by the comma. Each time we put data in, the surname could be a different length. So I can't just copy from one for five characters. Because what happens if I put my surname in? Then it's only from one to four. So we need to make it so that it works for any possible situation. So we're going to do that. We're going to first find the position of the comma. And I'm going to store that in an integer. That's my function called... Uh, pos so our comma is going to be an integer and it's we're going to use the pos function to return the position of the comma in this code so the com our comma is an integer and i'm going to use the pos function and it takes in three or two parameters the substring what are we looking for while well, we're looking for the comma so i can't just put comma down i must put the string comma so that's why i put a quote around the comma and then I put another comma, but this is for to separate the two parameters. Now, where am I looking for that comma? Well, I'm looking for it in S code because that's what S code looks like. So I'm looking for it in S code. So that's going to, in this case, return. Smith is one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's going to return a six into our comma. So now the next step is I want to copy just that part over there. So I'm going to use S name because we're going to use the copy uh, function, which returns a string. So we're not changing S code, we're simply changing, copying from it. So I'm going to say S surname is going to equal copy. Now copy takes in three parameters. The first is the string that we want to copy from, which is S code. And where do we want to start copying from? Well, from the very beginning. Sounds like the sound of music here. So we copy from position one. How many characters do we want to copy for? Well, in this case, it's five. Now, how do I get five? Well, we know that the comma is at position six, and we want to copy everything up until one before the comma. So I'm going to use this I comma variable, and then I'm going to minus one from it so that it will extract it. Okay, so there we go. So we take S code, and we're going to copy from position one till the position of the comma minus one. I'm just going to take the, these parts out so I can test to see if it works. Let's run it. There's my program. If I run it, there we go. It is worked. It's, it's just extracted the surname. Great. Now, 
how do I get the next part? Well, I can't use the position of the comma again because it's going to give me the same one every single time. So I actually need to get rid of that comma and everything before it. So I'm going to use the delete procedure now, which is actually going to delete from S code. I'm not, it's going to delete S code or parts of it. I want to delete. I want to delete this part over there, so that I'm just left with that because I'm finished with the surname. So I don't need it. So I'm going to delete from position one till what position I want to delete all of those five characters plus that comma so you guessed it till the position of the comma which is our comma there so what's going to happen after I delete it is it's going to look something like this I'm just going to copy that there and paste it there once I'm finished doing that let's put this actually over here so we can see it a bit better if I put it over here when I delete it's going to delete all of that and that's going to be gone so that's what S code is going to look like Okay, so surname will extract Smith, and then when we delete from one till the comma, that is what S code is going to look like. So now that I've got that, what do I need to do now? I want to extract the name, and I've got a feeling it's going to be the same process. It's going to be finding the position of the comma, copy from one till one before the comma, and then delete everything up until the comma. It's exactly the same process. Whenever you've got a string that is separated by the same type of symbol, then you can literally just copy this code. I'll just copy all of this quickly. I'm going to copy all of it. And this is what we're going to do for the second one. Well, we're going to find the position of the comma. Well, remember our string is this now. So that's going to be position 4. Because there's the comma. Remember, S code is this. Because huh? we deleted from it. Then we don't want to put it in S surname. We want to put it in another variable called S name. We want to copy from position 1. Tell the position of the comma minus 1. So that's going to end up being Joe. Hey, I'll be seeing this is working just by copy and pasting. It's fantastic. We can be lazy. And then once it's copied, Joe, we're going to delete from one till the comma. So that's what's going to be left over. So I'm going to come down here and display the name just to see if that is working. So let's run it and see if that works. And let me move this down. There we go. There we go. We're on the right track. So now we're left with this as our S code. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to find the position of the comma. We're going to copy from one till one before the comma. And then we're going to get the mail or the, the gender, basically. So let's, let's copy this again. Oh, I love it when we can be lazy. Remember, we must work smart. We must work hard. So in this case, we're going to remember this is my new S code. We're going to copy from, we will find the position of the comma, first of all. In this case, the comma is at position 5, because we don't know if it's female or, or male. Then, so it's at position 5. Then we're going to copy, not into S name. The only thing we really need to change is the variable that we're storing this in, which is S gender. And we're going to copy from 1 till the position of the comma minus 1, which is going to end up being male. And then we're going to delete from 1 till the position of the comma. And that's what our S code is going to look like. And there we go. We've got the mail. Yo, we're going through this quickly. Eh? Let's run it. See the code. There we go. Now, let's do the age. Now, we are in a roll. We, we, we're not thinking properly. We're going to copy this. We're going to, it's the same thing we've been doing all the time. So we copy and we paste it. We think that's going to work. So we go display age and then we run it. And then all of a sudden, this happens. And we go, what? Okay, first of all, I forgot to change that variable. So that should probably be our age. And remember, this is returning a string, and our age is an integer. So we must do some sort of conversion of conversions from a string to an int. So that we can take whatever that string is and put it in there. So I'm just going to move this up. My lovely little comments here. Forget them now because they're not accurate because I just copied them. So let's just see what this does. It's not actually going to work, and I'll tell you now why we, it's not going to work. And then an error comes up. It goes, what, what is this? What is this integer you talk of? Well, I want to explain. We were on a roll there, copying and pasting. But when we get to whatever's left over, you see, that's all that was left over. You see, there's no more comma. So I can't find the position of the comma. So I don't need to do that anymore. And because all that's left is the 45, that's all I want to get. So our age is actually, I don't need to even copy anything anymore. All I need to do is take S code because that's what S code is left with. 
So whenever the key to this one, when you've got this situation and you've got things separated by the same symbol, when you get in the very last aspect or information, you don't need to find the comma and delete. You can literally just take what's left over from the previous round and simply say, well, take S code, which is just the 45 like it is, but the string 45 and convert it to an integer. And then it's going to be left with the 45. So now we have the number 45. And so we don't even need to delete anymore anyway as well. So just remember when you're doing the last bit, for the first bit, as I said, you've got to find the position of the comma up until the comma, delete, etc., etc. The second one as well, the third one as well. But when we get to the last one, we don't need to do the comma position and so on because it's already left over. What it's left over is what we need. And so now if we display it, it should work now. And if we play it, there we go, urethra, I mean Rika, there it, all our information is there, and there you can see how we did it. So that's how you extract code or extract strings from some sort of code where data is separated by a particular symbol. If it was separated by dollar signs, then the only thing that would be different is you would be finding the position of the dollar in S code. But pretty much that is the algorithm that you would use. For more string handling examples of other scenarios, you can go to our YouTube channel, subscribe, follow us so they can see what videos we post there. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We'd love to hear your comments as well as keep you up to date whenever we post new videos. Also, we have a lovely new website up and running, which has all the videos in the order that you need to watch them so that they can help you for your studying. It looks a little, something a little like this. So go to our website and remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long Way.